Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back as an ant. In the last episode, I asked you guys to leave a like if you think my mom looked beautiful. That video only got 8,000 likes in four days. Honestly, my mom is offended. Let's try to get this video to 10,000 likes in under two days. And guys, if we could do that, I will make my very own Beck Bro Ant clan that you guys can join. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed that I've been busy. In the top left hand of the screen, you guys can see that I have basically maxed out all of my resources. I have over 100 workers. And guys, the best part is if I click on my army, you guys can see it's gotten bigger. We have one, two, three, four hissers, one butterfly, two tarantulas, three praying mantises, and one scorpion. In the last episode, I asked for some name suggestions, and you guys said that I should call my praying mantis Heath. Make sure you guys comment down below some other name suggestions suggestions for other creatures in my Beck Bro creature army. Except for the Hisser. This guy will be named Gassy, and you'll see why in just a second. A lot of you guys were commenting that the best way to rank up in this game is to battle other players. And guys, I have made it my mission to battle at least three players every single day. Okay, guys, so I have learned a lot about this game. First off, uh, yeah, every single ant colony that I battle against, they have usually some plants. Now, I haven't really gotten my hands on any plants yet, so uh, that's going to be one of my missions in today's video. Now, we also need to expand and get all of my ant army out here to play. We have our Pragmatuses named Keith, our Hissers nicknamed Gassy. As you guys can see, every once in a while, they will gas everything and everybody in a certain area. So my strategy in these are actually really, really, really simple. I go around the outside area of the uh, enemy ant colony, and then usually I'll target like these plant things, which do some pretty crazy damage to some of my giant creatures. So we're just going to go around the perimeter right now, and we're just going to focus on attacking these uh, the plants from, like, Plants vs. Zombies. And it looks like we only have two more plants to worry about. On the bottom of the screen, you guys can see that we still have a minute 30 left. And it turns out, in order to win this battle, I only need to get this number to 50%. Next up, it looks like we just have to get rid of their PD Piranha Venus Flytrap. Now, this thing is super overpowered because it can actually, like, eat all of my giant monsters. So I actually got to be kind of careful. Their ants must be a super high level right now because they just wiped out my entire ant army. Luckily, Gassy pretty much just gassed them all to death. Okay, guys, we gotta move. We gotta activate the secret plan. Activating this right here on the right side, which gives me 10 seconds of pure immunity. That way I can run all the way down into their bug chamber. Use this flower, which basically incapacitates all of their bugs. It puts them into a nice little slumber and then my monsters can do serious damage. And guys, check it out. We just got over 50%, which means that we have technically won the battle. Victory! Yeah! Victory dance! Let's go! Ants, 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 ants. That was definitely not my prettiest victory, but we got the job done. Unfortunately, we did lose our entire army, so let me just spend a little bit of cash, and we will buy all 50 of our soldiers back. Oh no, guys. I just noticed in the top right head of the screen, the red ants have returned. It has become a daily task of mine to annihilate all red ants, especially because if I don't, look, they come over over and they try to steal my resources. Go sisters, yes, for the colony. This is absolutely fantastic. Look, we just wiped out that tiny little squadron and now I will go in for the kill. While we're doing this, let me tell you guys my game plan for later in the video. In the last episode, I tried my best to invade the bee colony, but unfortunately I ran out of time and then the bees kind of found out that I wasn't actually one of them and then ultimately I died. Now, a lot of you guys were commenting that in the shop, I can actually spend resin and increase the time that I can be a bee. And guys, that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I have been grinding my butt off and getting as much resin as physically possible. As you guys can see, I have 14,229 resin. That took a long time to get. But guys, I can spend 7,500 and we can increase the duration of the bee essence. This is going to be super important. Okay, guys, we'll be testing that out a little bit later. Now, also, guys, I have two hours left of this pumpkin for the Halloween event, which is how I've been able to get a level three gassy. And in order to get a 
another one, we need to get a lot more material. So I'm going to send all of my workers to the pumpkin right up here on the top of the screen. And as you can see, these little tiny black dots are my sisters that will collect this pumpkin until there is no more pumpkin left. And guys, in the meantime, we're going to just <laughs> go down into the red ant colony and they will all perish by the power of tiny Vecbro ant legs. Our mandibles will crush them to death. Warriors of the soil, unite, destroy, bite their head off, leave no survivors. I take this game very seriously if you could not tell. And uh, just like that, the red ant queen has been defeated. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I might be slightly addicted to this game. Has my mom asked me to get off this game multiple times this week? Yes. Yes, she has. Do not tell her. This is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, the Beck Bro sisters are currently bringing down chunks of pumpkins. And every single chunk that they bring down goes into this meter right here. And if I get to a thousand, I can attract another hisser. I almost forgot I was saving to uh, do this actually during this video. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of hissers already. Four in total. A three star, a two star, and two one stars. Now you might have noticed this ginormous fuse button. And if I click on two of these bugs that have this same star power, we can actually fuse them together. And I can spend a little bit of my diamonds on this to make it so that there is a 100% chance that I can fuse them together to increase their star level. And guys, we could do the same exact thing with the two star hisser. And I think I can use this to make it a 90% chance of success. I actually did one of these where it was a 90% chance and it failed. I have no idea how it failed. And we're just going to hope that this is a success. Yes, let's go! Okay, guys, now there's only one more. This will be my first four-star recruit if this actually works. I also don't know how many stars it can go up to, so comment down below if you guys know. But I do know for sure that if this works, this will now be my highest level bug. Okay, well, it, it, it starts out at a 5% chance. Is this even worth it, dude? It's a 50-50 shot. Guys, I'm gonna do it for you. I can't add any more percent. We're just gonna have to get super lucky here. Please work, guys. I'm, I'm actually so nervous. We gotta risk it, guys. Come on, please. Ah, yes! Yes, let's go! I can't believe it. We now have a four-star recruit. This guy is going to be unstoppable. Gassy has been upgraded into a god. And guys, the best part is we can actually get another one. So we have our Halloween event fully filled, so I can now attract a brand new Gassy. These guys are incredibly difficult to actually take down. So for those of you guys that haven't seen any episodes before, uh, yeah, th this is the process that I've been doing pretty much every single day. I summon in one of these guys, right? And then I just start attacking. And he has two different attacks, right? One is like this crazy little like slice attack that, uh, yeah, I can kind of see coming. And then the other attack is an attack <laughs> that's basically just like a gas bomb. It just kills everything and everybody in that area. So it's safe to say I usually go through like at least 50 the ants every single time that I try to tame one of these hissers. Yeah, look, we, we literally just lost 13 ants in like two seconds. Okay, okay, there, there we go. I think we got the strategy down. I, I just gotta watch out for, for the gas attack. The gas attack comes like every, I don't know, like 15 to 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna wait for the gas attack and I gotta just keep my my distance. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, we, we lost a sister. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. This is so much harder than it looks. I'm sure some of you guys are like pros at capturing these and you're in the comments like, Jack, it's not that hard. You're being an absolute doofus. And guys, I know, I know. I, I'm still a rookie when it comes to this game. I, I really haven't played it too much, but I have been slightly addicted for the past week. So if you guys have any tips and tricks in the comment section, definitely let me know. Okay, let's go back in for another attack. Oh, no, no. <laughs> They all just got farted on, dude. We just got to keep maxing out our army. And this is a slow and painful process for my ants. I think we got it down, ladies and gentlemen. We hit him with the sleigh. Okay, we did get farted on quite a bit there. That's fine. We did not lose all of our soldiers. If some of our soldiers fall, we just get right back up and we keep on fighting. That is the Beckbro Ant Colony motto. Retreat and attack. It's a simple ebb and flow, ladies and gentlemen. Think I need to buy more soldiers? Guys, I am ashamed to admit this, but I think I've spent like $400 on this game already. Money well spent. Okay. 
Okay, guys, this should be the last one. As long as we don't get farted on, we should be fine. Yes, we got it! Another gassy is currently being added to the Beck Bro Ant Colony. And guys, since these are pretty powerful, they do take a while to get converted. Like, this guy just got captured, and he is really not happy about it. As you can see, by the way, that he is actually turning redder than a tomato. But in about a minute, he will be fully converted, and he will be a part of the Beck Bro Colony. Now, guys, also, every single time that you win a battle, you get pheromones. And a lot of you guys were saying that the higher rank you are, the better pheromones you actually get. And since I am still the lowest level in our little battle area here, I only have access to, uh, yeah, like the, the lowest level guys. So if I go into the shop and we just like hit this button right here, it will actually summon in a creature. And this is actually pretty good. So it's nighttime right now. And that does make it so that other animals or creatures could spawn in. But it looks like we got a good old fashioned tarantula. These creatures are about 10 times easier to actually capture <laughs> than the guy that we just did. There you go, girls. Just yet. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have to sacrifice one of you. And then after it attacks, we just pounce on the tarantula. We slowly and steadily bite the tarantula until it eventually just bends to our will and joins the Beckbro colony. Somehow, I think we just broke the game. I have more mushrooms <laughs> than I'm supposed to have. It just like glitched out. It said that I had 10,000 mushrooms for a second. Tarantula added to your army. And that means we could fuse these one stars together, make it a 100% chance. And now we have a two star tarantula. A couple of you were commenting that it is super important to upgrade our queen's chamber because every single time that you do, your soldiers will get more powerful. And it looks like right now we have enough seeds, but we do not have enough resin. But that is about to change. Since I bought this upgrade that will increase the amount of time that I can remain transformed into a bee, we'll be able to make it through the maze and steal the resin. I'm pretty sure you can get around 10,000 resin per day if you do this correctly. We're going to disband the army. This is going to be a Beckbro Ant solo mission. We're just going to go up this way. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spend 150 of our diamonds to turn into a bee. So we have six minutes and 50 seconds, which is a little bit longer than I had last time. And let's see if it's actually going to be enough. Okay, so first up, uh, we got we to gotta go down. So as soon as that timer runs out, the bees will know exactly where I am and then I am dead. Oh no, no, wrong way. I can't afford this. I literally cannot afford to go the wrong way. I'm panicking. I am so panicked right now. Yeah, that's right. Crawl, crawl. Get, get, get past that. Okay, I think we go down this one. And guys, the worst part is I can't buy any more bee essence. It, it is it is a one and done. We're running out of time. There's only two minutes left. I did so much work for this. Please tell me this is actually going to work. Okay, we just gotta dodge this, dodge that. This is not good. Where is the... Okay, there's the flower. Pick up the flower. Go, 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 go. One minute. One minute left on the clock. No! I... Before this video is over, I will conquer the bee maze. We're almost out of ants, but they did a good job so far. Let's just go inside of here. And then now we are going to unleash all of my monsters for the Beck Bro Colony. We may get stepped on by a booger-filled five-year-old named Steve later today. But for now, we fight. Yep, this is working out absolutely fantastically, just as intended. We can also make this guy sleep. So if they sleep, that means that they don't really do any damage. All right, so we killed everybody else. But unfortunately, we can't actually attack the ant. And it actually looks like these aren't even ants. These are scorpions. And it looks like we got to go back outside of the colony with Gassy. And we got to just like chill here for a second and just let him gas up everybody. I'm going to have to sacrifice my body multiple times. Yes. We oh my God, it actually worked. Gassy is so overpowered. It's crazy. The only thing that I've seen kill him is uh is the Venus flytrap. Other than that, no other monster bug stands a chance. Victory! And dance, and dance. The Beckbro Ant Colony is victorious. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and try to get through the bee maze again. Also, I'm going to bring my soldier ant army. Maybe I can get a little bit closer to the bees without having to make the transformation. Sisters, this is one small step for ant kind. Oh, we're going to get attacked. We are going to get attacked. Let's go ahead. We're going to make the transformation. Wish me luck. We're going in. We're going in. Can they even follow me in here? I don't think so. I am also starting to learn that every single time that I hit some of the beeswax, I lose 10 seconds. So I'm going to stop doing that. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so we have three minutes. Now, I am a little bit slower. So I gotta be extra careful. Dang it, dude. I took more damage. Real slow. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. I am locked in right now. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't touch the outside walls. So we're gonna hop in here. Ah, oh, I took damage. Dang it. Right down here. Yes! I think I just dropped that there and then I could steal my uh, 2,000 resin. I don't really know what the middle thing is, the, the honeycomb. So I guess we'll, we'll figure that out later.
Slater came this way. Oh my gosh. Okay, we, we have one minute to figure out how to get back out of here. Please tell me we're close. No! No! <laughs> no, my 2,000 residue. Dang it. They make this so difficult. One of us. One of us. The flower is so close. Okay. I wish I could just like jump on over. Flower <laughs> secured with four minutes and 30 seconds left. We can do it. We could do it. I hate that you're like a little bit slower when you have the flower. It makes sense, but gosh dang it, guys. It's so hard. I will steal the resin. The queen bee cannot stop me. I will command the bees and the ants. I wonder if I could actually tame a bee. Comment down below. And hello. Hi. Good. To oh, wait, wait. Uh, hello. Yes. Here, you smell that and I will steal your stuff. Okay, this is it. The final stretch. I will be victorious. I have a full two minutes. Okay, we're down to the wire here. We're down to a minute 45. Okay, this has to be it, right? Wait, guys. I don't know if this is the right way. I think I think I just went back. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I should go back. Oh, dang it, dude. What? I, I, uh, no. <laughs> This is it, guys. I, I, okay. We're at the very end, but dude, this, this little turn thing, the, the waiting for the elevator is gonna kill me. Oh my gosh, dude. Seven seconds, six, five, four. Oh! Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh, 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 I got it. Okay, wait, do I have to bring this like all the way back? I have a feeling that these, uh, termites are not gonna let me bring this back. Okay, we're just gonna sneak on by. Nobody will see me. I'm calling for backup just in case. I could not lose this resin, dudes. This is this is so valuable. Even one termite will kill me. I feel like James Bond on like a top secret mission. My reinforcements have arrived. Yes! Yes! It's the home stretch. Let's go! I don't really know if I had to do all of that. Like, I, I wonder if I could have just dropped it. I have no idea. But what I, what I will do is I'm gonna bring this all the way down to my resin chamber. Here. Storing resin. Let's go! That was huge, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're at 8,700, which means that we can go back to the colony and we can upgrade our soldiers. Let's click that little button right there. We can finish that up real quick. And now our soldiers are level five. And to upgrade them again, and we need 10,000 resin. I feel like we kind of have to test our brand new soldiers in battle. Okay, let's see if they actually are. All right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go around some of their defenses and we're just gonna attack this little guy right there. And while my giant monster bugs are busy, we're just gonna keep attacking all of the plants versus zombies plants. It looks like they have their very own gassy, so we're gonna make sure that we stay away. And then we're gonna put uh, gassy to sleep and we're gonna we're gonna try to kill gassy. Kill gassy, everybody. Kill, kill, kill gassy. I, I, okay. Apparently, I just died. But it looks like their gassy is about to die. I think we got him. Yes, dude, that's huge. Should be able to focus on their Venus fly trap. Good job, sisters. They all just got gas. They all just got flipping gas. Yes, let's go. That is huge. I'm going to uh, go invincible, of course. And we're just going to go right inside. Okay, they should have all of their troops just like scattered right here. So we're just going to chill right there. And then we're going to we're gonna get, get away. And we're just going to let them duke it out. I just hang out here. And then I just watch them <laughs> fart all over my enemies. Victory! We also might as well attract another gassy because these things are basically like gold in the form of bugs. And the more I have, the stronger our Beck bro colony will be. And, uh, oh no, 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 no. What, oh, stop putting your butt in my face. Attack, sisters. Luckily, our sisters are now level five, so they should be able to withstand even more farts. I'm not that worried. All we gotta do is just remain resilient. A few moments later. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, that was that. Yes, we got another one. That is huge. Huge. Ooh, also, guys, I was just checking out some comments to make sure I didn't miss any. A lot of you guys were saying to build the water storage chamber, which I think because I got the resin, I can now do this. <laughs> it costs so much resin and also a ton of honeydew. I'm pretty sure I could put my workers on like collecting water. So if we just uh, remove some of that, put some of them on that duty. I could only hold 50. So let's just send 50 of my sisters. Is there a bug over there? It looks like there could be a bug over there. Some sort of like water bug. And I do not not want my ants dying on me. Is that it? Is that an alley? Is that a snake? What? Wait, do, do I have to like climb over? Wh what even is this? Guys, I have no idea what to do. Please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm gonna climb over. No, do not climb over to it. No, uh, abort, abort, abort. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. I might be onto something. And then, w w okay, so with, with the logs, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Does anybody know what to do? Oh, 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 we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay, guys, I'm gonna read your comments about how to get rid of this frog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like if you did. Make sure to comment down below some name suggestions for our brand new bugs. And click this video if you missed it.